Hello, and welcome to this Fusion Extreme Photoshop tutorial. Today we're going to talk about depth of field. We're going to talk about how to, how to give yourself the effect of having a shallower depth of field in an image. Right here, the background is very, very in focus. If you look, you see the flowers are perfectly in focus. The detail on the, on the fireplace here is very, very in focus. Let's say we want everything behind Sabrina to go ahead and be a little bit out of focus. Here's what we're going to do. First thing we're going to do is we're going to come over here to our foreground and background color. And we want them to be black and white. Now you can do that by clicking on this little icon right here. You click on this and it changes it to black and white. We want to invert that by clicking this right here. And the white right here is your foreground color, black is your background color. That's what we want. Now we're going to come over to our layers palette. If your layers palette is not showing, you can easily get to it by coming up to Windows and clicking on Layers or the F7 key. Now, if you're on a PC, you can hit Control J or you can drag down this background layer to right here and drop it and you get a background copy. You want to work with a background copy for a few reasons. Number one, you're not messing with the original image. So you, if you don't like the effect at the end, you can just get rid of it. And number two, you can click back and forth at the end. I'll show you this and you can see how much you really like the effect. And number three, you can also uh, fade, fade the effect afterwards. And I'll show you all about that when we get to it. But what we want to do right now is we want to come to our channels palette right here, this little channels tab. And we want to come right down here and click on this. And up comes the Alpha 1 tab here. Alpha one. And what we want to do, we want to click on RGB so you can see your image. Now, your Alpha 1 is, the, is selected here. You don't, want, you don't want to stay up here. You want to stay down here uh, on the Alpha 1 tab. Now, you're going to come over and select a brush. Now, for the sake of this, I'm using a 90 uh, soft edge brush. But, uh, you know, different images are different and, and everybody does this a little bit differently. Now, I'm not going to be really specific here. Right now, I'm just doing this very quickly just to uh, be able to show you the tutorial. But I'm going to go over Sabrina here and her dress um, and the white floor. Uh, everything that I want to stay sharply in focus, everything that is basically from the photographer's eye, everything that is between Sabrina and, or, or very close to her, and the camera, you want to stay in focus. Now I'm going to change the brush size here so I can swing right around up here. Now again, I'm not being real precise, just so I can show you the tutorial quickly. You're certainly going to want to take more time than I'm doing here. Um, but right now what we've done is we've selected the floor and everything from Sabrina closer to the camera. Everything else in the back is going to be out of focus. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to come up to, I, I want to select RGB right now. I'm going to come to Filter, Blur, and Lens Blur. And this gives us the opportunity here, this is a pretty extensive dialog box. Now what you want to do when it comes up, it's probably going to look pretty much like this. Now, what you're going to have to do right here under Source, you click the little dialog box here and down come, come down to Alpha 1. And you want to invert. What that does, if you notice the difference here, look at the background is more blurry and now the Sabrina and the foreground are more blurry. Since you're wanting uh, to blur the background, you click Invert. Now Radius, you can affect it to whatever level you want to affect it at. Okay, I'm going to go a little bit strong and I, I, I recommend you go a little more then you think you want it to actually look in the final image. Okay, you want to go a little further than, than what you're thinking. And I'll show you why in just a moment. Let's click OK. Now we're back on this image. Now let's, let's turn off our alpha channel. Now, right here, we have the image, but that's still a little, that's a little too blurry. It doesn't look right. Now this is why I said it's a great idea to have a background copy. This is another reason why. You can go to Opacity right here. And you can lower your opacity. And what that's going to do is you can fade the effect. You can fade the effect 
to wherever you feel comfortable. Okay, let's say right about here. All right, now, again, with the background copy, all I have to do is click right here. You can see what it originally looked like, and there, with the, with the more blurry background. Do you like it like this better or like this better? That gives you the option to check. And what we've done is we've affected the depth of field in a pretty easy and quick way. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this tip. There are a lot of ways to do this. Uh, this is just one. Uh, it's the one that, that I tend to like. Thank you for joining us on this Fusion Extreme photo tip. Uh, check out our other tips. We've got plenty for you. Thank you.